two weeks ago I went to Nashville and I was searching for guitars. So there were a couple things I was trying to do. The first thing I was trying to do while I was in Nashville, uh, I was there for a marketing conference, a company that I work with. So I, I run a marketing agency. That's on the other side of my life. If you want to know more about it, you can find out. Uh, but the other thing that I was there to do was to check out Groon Guitars, talk to George about a couple ideas that I'm going to pitch to him. I don't know if it's going to go through, um, but I really want to make meaningful, badass content that helps advocate guitars, particularly acoustic guitars, what they do in you, what they do through you, how they make the world a better place. So that's all coming. So while I was in Nashville, I was looking for some cool guitars. I wanted to start my $500 guitar challenge. Nothing worked out under $500, so I cheated. That's what I did. Um, instead of buying, I was looking for something around the $500 range, which I didn't want to put all of that challenge money into one guitar. Uh, but so I ended up just kind of pushing pause on that for a couple weeks until I clear up some money. But what I ended up finding was a badass Larave L03. And I've had a couple of these and they're awesome. They sound killer. But this one is a little different because this one is mahogany top. Uh, this Larave is amazing for a couple reasons. One, it's all solid wood. Two, it's under $1,000. You can find these pretty regularly. It's a unique shape and it's a unique size. So here is this amazing guitar that I bought. The problem, I didn't turn the microphone on. So uh, I'll show you some of the conversation with him. TV and radio a little bit, but that's what it's been doing the last three years. Not yeah. much. Just yeah, occasional. Man. It's super thing. cool. And I love I love Larave. They've always been this like great sleeper. Dude, they're the best. Yeah, so did you they, get this yeah. in Leesburg? Uh, Leesburg, okay. Yeah, there's a Stanton one and a Leesburg one. Okay, yeah. And uh, yeah, the end pins are new, or pins are new too. At least they're aftermarket. Okay. It came with just standard white ones. Yeah. I thought they look kind of nice. Yeah, this thing's super cool. My worst fear was realized when I realized that I talked to him for 10 minutes, probably, maybe five minutes, and the microphone wasn't on. Dumb, but, okay, so here's what I got. This is a Larave, what's the order is this? I think it's 2008. 2008 Larave L03, but this one's mahogany. I've never seen one in mahogany. It also has an M1 pickup in it, and it's got the cables in it. I'll probably change that out to a pickup that's more my style, um, just because I don't like the aesthetic of a pickup in the sound hole. Uh, he was asking 850, which is about the top that they're ever gonna go for. Um, I've just never seen one go for that price. I looked, I've owned two of these in the last two years. Uh, the most recent one was a Rosewood back in sides, which is a really cool guitar, but uh, I think I only got 695 bucks for that, so it just doesn't quite move the needle. So um, he's in a situation that I don't, that I'm, I've been in and I feel really bad about, which is he just stopped playing with the band, uh, the band broke up, and he needs some money, he's got bills coming up. And so uh, we entered into the dance, and I'm aboundingly sympathetic to working musicians that are trying to pay the bills. Um, and you know, he even said one of the phrases that I use a lot, which is, "Hey, man, if it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense." So I came in. Basically, I think that this is a, I think it's a seven hundred dollar guitar. Um, maybe seven fifty, eight hundred. Uh, maybe with the pickup, it would it would move the needle a bit. Um, but uh, so I ended up paying. I came in at at first five hundred, just hedging my bets, and I knew that that was a stretch. But I also wasn't disrespectful. Like I told him the whole long, the whole time, and like, hey, I want you to come out of here feeling like you were like listened to and respected, and that you got a good deal. Uh, so he came back at 750. I knew that we were kind of in the ballpark. Um, I came back at 600. He came back at 725. And then I just I looked at the funds that I have available, and I said, "Hey, let's do 650 bucks." 
um, and I'll take it right now. Otherwise, I can pay for your parking, because he'd come downtown Nashville to see me. Um, and I felt bad. I didn't want him to walk away having to pay for parking and all that crap. So uh, we came to 650 bucks, which I think is fair. I'm not going to make a ton of money on this guitar, but it will be a really fun, unique guitar. And those are the two things I always look for in guitars. I always want fun, unique, cool things. So this is a very cool guitar. I'm really excited to have it. I'm glad it came with the pickup. Uh, I might be able to sell that and get a little bit of money for it. See what else we got here. So there's the M1. Yeah. So this is the M1 passive. So inside the guitar here is um, all the clips and all that stuff already inside the guitar. But that's awesome. That's 100 bucks or something. And it has, these things are tragically expensive and just such a pain because the truss rods in these guitars is really hard to adjust. Hey, also, I just noticed there's some blood speckles in there. Gross. So badass guitars are out there. You can find them. I found this one on Craigslist. I got the guy's phone number. I texted him. I ended up, he's from a town close to where I grew up. So we just kind of hit it off. We had the same area code, blah, blah, blah. Uh, so I reached out and I said, hey, can you meet? And he ended up being able to meet me at the place downtown Nashville that I was. And so we talked about the guitar and we worked out. Here's a quick, awesome tip. I almost never agree to a number before I get there because guitars are always subjective. There's always something that's either not the way we described or something that we're going to have to talk about. I'll get a ballpark a price. I'll say like, hey, I want to see it. Here's what I'm thinking for price because that way you don't get people that show up and feel like you're just being an asshole and chopping them down. Uh, I didn't we came to a price we're definitely not on. He was at an unrealistically high number. I came in at a worst case scenario pricing uh, and ended up coming up a bit from that. And But the overarching thing that I learned in this one is just get in the room with cool guitars. Uh, get there, talk to people, and have cash in your hand. And this is not to take advantage of people, but it is to get a good deal and that they get cash. And he was happy with it, I was happy with it, and that was my main goal in that. Hey, if you dig this video, please like, subscribe, you can hit the bell if you're so inclined, if you want to know more about when I put videos out. Uh, the other thing is you can follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. You can follow me on Instagram, which is Instagram, uh, it's at Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. Thanks everybody, let's go find some badass guitars, and I have two amazing ones coming up if I can get... Uh, if I can get them in. So a cool old Martin with Brazilian Rosewood and a pre CBS, ugh, very close to pre, like a 65 Strat. And I also have a 66 Tele coming up. So badass guitars are out there. Let's go find them. See you everybody.